Hey everyone, today what I'm going to do is show everyone how to prepare your work for online submissions for uh, shows. Uh, as you can see here, um, a lot of uh, the times they'll, uh, when you're submitting your work, they'll bring you to an outside source such as Cafe and they'll ask you for specifics. So they want a JPEG under 5 megabytes and a minimum of, of 1200 uh, pixels on the longest side. Uh, clicking on the help uh, is always useful. It'll help you uh, walk you through a little bit, but again, uh, I want to show just how to do this. A uh, list of acceptable uh, formats will be JPEG. Can't be bigger than 1200 on the longest side. The color profile is sRGB. The files, uh, obviously you're not submitting audio files, uh, video files you're not submitting either, so really all that is uh, irrelevant. So really JPEG is what they're asking for and that's very common. So first thing I want uh, you to think about is just getting your work professionally shot. I get mine uh, shot through my gallery and uh, I, I used to try to do it myself and it never had good luck. So if you're if you're really trying to get into a show and sum, uh, put your best foot forward, I highly recommend that you uh, get professional shots of your work. So uh, first thing I do is just crop into my work. You can hit the C tool if you're in Photoshop. What that will do is bring up uh, the crop tool or you can come over here and click on it. You can see it, it shows up as the crop tool. Once you have it up, crop in. I usually crop in a little more than just to the edge just so I don't get anything extra. So here we have it, uh, my cropped image. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is go over and find out how to change this uh, file dimension. So file dimension size is actually what's going to uh, take and, and shrink it down. So if we go up to image and we go to image size in Photoshop, of course, um, what you can do is you can change this over to pixels and they want basically what they want is 1200 pixels on the on the biggest side so you can see that the biggest side right here is the width uh, this is about 6 by 9 I believe uh, actually I could just check uh, yeah it's not 20 by 13 um, but basically what you can do is go over to pixels go over to 1200 and you can just manually type that in 1200 so now it's gonna make my biggest side 1200 pixels and my small side 799 hit, hit OK and you'll actually see this thing shrink way way down so that has actually taken and uh, shrunk the uh, file size down significantly. So you can see it's image size 2.74 megabyte, megabytes. That's what the M is for. Dimensions are 1200 pixels by 799. I'm going to actually just undo that for a sec and go back. And you can see before it was 68 megabytes. So let's do it again. Uh, go up to image. Go to image size. I'm just going to go over here. I'm going to do a 1200. And you can see 2.74 megabytes was 68.8. Hit OK. It shrinks it down. Now, first thing I usually do is I will take that. I'm going to save it on my desktop. And then I'm just going to uh, take, leave my name uh, in the file. And then just do Sake, uh, which was the name of the painting. And then I'm just going to go here to Format and uh, make it a JPEG. Now, what I would recommend is always to save here another version of the painting. You don't want to save over the high res. So I'm going to save a JPEG, which is really a, the smallest compressed kind of file. You can also hit uh, at, save as a copy here in Photoshop as well. So hit save. Uh, bring this up. You don't want uh, any compression at all. Uh, this is going to compress the file, make it as small as it can, but anytime you do that, you may lose data. So now we basically have a JPEG. It's 1200 pixels. It's under 5 megabytes, but we want to look at the color profile. So right now you can see that it says Todd M. Casey, Sake, 91.9 uh, RGB. So RGB is, it's really uh, a computer, a computer monitor is in red, green, and blue. When it comes to printing, you want to make sure that it's in CMYK, and that stands for cyan, yellow, magenta, and black. If you go to image here and you go to mode, you can actually see what color mode that you're in. Right now I'm in RGB. Most of the time you are, depending uh, where you're getting the file from. Uh, if you were pulling it from a book or something or a magazine article, they would want CMYK. Uh, RGB is, is what I'm in already. So you could easily just click on CMYK if I wanted to convert it. You can see it actually will take and uh, decrease the uh, chroma. So I'm just going to hit Command Z, bring that chroma back. Uh, you'll see more chroma on a, uh, a monitor setting. All right, so I'm going to save it again. 
let's just look one more time. 2.7 megabytes for image size, dimensions 1200 by 799 uh, pixels, 1279, resolution 300, which is a good size. Uh, I'm going to save that. I'm going to close it. And I'm just going to close this down now here, and I'm going to go back into here and then just uh, upload the file so everyone can see. So the artwork title is Sake. It's oil on panel. Uh, it is 6. I believe it's by 9. Depth, you can put 0. Uh, you only need that for sculpture. Uh, let's just put 1200 bucks. Uh, 2018, I think it's when I painted it. Oil. So this is... Uh, Is it asking me? Uh, primary discipline, uh, painting, uh, art in public spaces. No description. Sake painting. Uh, then I want to go to image, choose, and I'm just going to direct it to that file. So Todd M. Casey Sake on the uh, desktop there. You can see it's 1.2 megabytes. It actually shows that it's smaller than we said, which is a good size. You want it under 5 megabytes. So now it's added. I'm going to put add to my portfolio. And there you go. There you have it. Uh, it's all uploaded. Uh, normally what you do is you go to My Portfolio and then you can click on the image and then add it to the show that you're trying to uh, submit it to. All right, hopefully that helps. If you have any more questions, feel free to uh, leave them in the comments or shoot me an email.